Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 No Guns Allowed. On the last episode, we kind of found ourselves out this way, which is right near, wrong button, Fort Hagen. And this building right here is actually, well, this is pretty much Fort Hagen. As I'm looking at it now, I realize I've been in here before. Not in this playthrough, of course, but in a previous playthrough, I've actually been in this area. And now let's see. I think... I can head inside right over here. Let's just go ahead and do that. Now, I do realize I probably... Ah, we got synths in here. That's what it is. I skipped a couple things back there. I can go grab that on my own. It's just an area where there's uh, going to be some... Hello. Like a chem station, that sort of thing going on. I believe I came here maybe during the main quest line. I don't remember. I might be inadvertently moving things forward when I have no interest whatsoever in playing the main quest right now. Because I was actually trying to wait a moment before I did that. Well, let's find out anyway. Because I couldn't remember what's going on in here, and it seems like a good idea. I can release him. Okay, so just for kicks, I'm going to go ahead and let the protect... I can't even speak Protectron out. Might actually be hostile to me. I'm not sure. Ah, I think he's okay. But there will be some synths in here who are not happy with me. Like you. Just go ahead and smash this guy. Meanwhile, this guy over here is smashing the crap out of me. There we go. Take that, good sir. I will take all of your fusion cells because, I don't know, I can sell them or something later. Oh, hello. We're gonna do it like this, huh? Wow, these guys are a pain. I haven't tried doing nothing but melee against them. I don't know how many stim packs I have left. I probably shouldn't go crazy using them. That's okay. Yeah, my power armor's fusion core is low. I'll concern myself with that in a little while. Yeah, I do vaguely remember going through this building now. I'm trying not to take tons and tons of junk, although I have been finding that by not taking weaponry, I'm able to carry a bunch of stuff, really. This might be a good time to talk about what we're going to do about the whole mine and grenade situation. Kind of of the feeling that it might be fun to do a, yes. a playthrough without using them at all. I've been collecting them at this point, Oh, hi. I forgot about you. You're annoying. Wasn't even paying attention to the little latch on there. That's the dead giveaway that it's a trap. Yeah. Oops. Oh, well. Let's eat some food then. But I do kind of like the idea of not using any sword. Macha. Yum. Of explosives either. That might be unrealistic. I I'm not really sure. But I just kind of like the idea of it, the sound of it. Seems like it might be kind of fun. Might be a really bad idea for all I know. But, eh, you know, why not? Could make things a little interesting, not having any way to deal with turrets, guys that are not choosing to engage, any of that stuff. It might make it interesting. The other thing I've kind of been thinking about... Let's go ahead and turn you off. Speaking of mines. The other thing I've kind of been thinking about is not using stealth. Not taking stealth at all. I've kind of tried to sneak a little bit here and there along the way and have been, well, it's been ineffective because my stealth one is not a skill I have worked on. And two, I'm also walking around in giant heavy armor these days. That's quite loud, so there's no particular, uh, scenario, in which case my stealth is actually going to work. Or at least it's highly unlikely. What is popping up on my screen there? Oh. Yeah, I can still ignore you. I will get to Concord when I feel like it. Oh, hi guys. Holy cow. You're the synth leader, so let's get rid of you. And then I can go ahead and smash you. Let's just go ahead and use a critical on him. There you go. Goodbye, sir. Well, not a sir, but sir. Whatever. 
So I don't know. That's just going to be something to think about. Do I do stealth at all? Do I do explosives at all? Let me know what you think. I'm still not 100% sure where I'm standing on that particular discussion, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Maybe it's worth using them. Maybe it's not. It's just, uh, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of the challenge of not using any of it, but maybe that's a little too silly or a little too uh, mine. I saw you at the last second there. Oh well. I cannot hack you. But I can take all of this stuff. Sure, I'll take that too. I came in here with Paladin Dance in another playroom playthrough, I think. Hello. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm trying to remember, but that sounds about right to me. Go ahead and unlock this, why not? Mm, yeah, we'll take that and that. I'm going to leave the Raider arm just because it's a little heavier and, uh, I don't know. Where are you guys? Possibly upstairs a little more. I'll take the globe. Globes are good for cork. That's why I will often take those. Let's head upstairs. I'm not hiding, I promise. There you are. You'll see me in a second. Oh, there you are. I do like this weapon for disarming people. Sometimes quite literally. Because I think my disarming him involved removing an arm. I'm on board with that. I got guys everywhere, don't I? Okay, I'm trying to find the best way to get around here that's going to have to do for now. Let's just go ahead and use bats so I can build up some more critical. Here we go. I'm not afraid of an explosion. Maybe I should be, but I'm not. I put my power armor back together after repairing it. At the end of the last episode, I believe I ran home. And then, yep, you didn't need your arm anyway. And then I forgot to put it back together, so I have since put it back together. Well, what pieces I have of it, I, I should probably say. Since clearly I don't have a full set. Dog, you're going to be fine. Quit whining. It's nothing worse than a whiny dog. Whine, whine, whine. He's fine. I've been shot by lasers. I'm so hurty. Go ahead and take that, even though I'm not going to use it. Guns and bullets, not for me. But, you know, why not? It's not going to hurt to take it. I think I'm pretty much done with this building. I mean, there's still the roof. and We can go run out there and take care of what is outside. I'm pretty sure I remember, but I won't spoil anything. Or try not to. Can we unlock this bad boy? Nope. Let's try that again. There we go. That was much better. Sure, go ahead and take that. And you are a machine gun turret piece that landed awkwardly on the ammo box. So I think I have pretty much gone through everything in here. I probably missed a desk or something that has that code for the turret. Turret. The terminal downstairs. Oh, that's right. I can't cook while in power armor. That's okay. I don't need to cook right now. I was just thinking it might be a good idea to get a little extra bloat meat cooked up and ready to be consumed because I do like me a good bloat meat dish. You know, nothing is quite as filling as a little bit of bloat meat. Okay, I think I have gone through everything in here. I probably missed something. Like I said, I I'm pretty sure I missed something, but... Let's just go ahead and call this particular building done. And we'll head... I think we'll go ahead and head out. So, just taking one more quick peek in here. Yeah, let's go up top. Here we are up top. And already I'm... Already I'm a touch confused. 
Like I said, I've been out to this building before in another playthrough, and I recall there being turrets out here, and I'm not seeing any now, so I, I'm not I'm not sure why that is. Maybe that was, um, I don't know, maybe because I was higher level when I came out here. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. I do find that interesting, though. Oh, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and check this guy out. Those things are all useful. Um, where to go? I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going to drop down. Clunk. I do like the sound of that. I'm just noticing I'm a little injured here. Let's see. I have nine stim packs, so I probably shouldn't use a bunch of them. Let's eat some cram. That'll fill me up reasonably well. That'll reset some rads. Not sure what you are. This might be a building that's not open, actually. I'm trying to remember if there's... What are... Oh, no. That was... I thought I saw mine on the ground. That was my... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, cursor sort of thingy, majigger. Dog found an enemy. I don't know where. Definitely not this guy. Look at that. The Greater Massachusetts Blood Clinic. Oh, hi. You could be the enemy dog found. And so could you. Ah, bloat flies. Let's just smash you. Erupt in goo. Gotta love it. Nothing quite like a good goo, a goo eruption. Man, I am having trouble speaking today. It is not my day. I wonder, is this an actual building building in the sense that I go inside and wander through it, you know, change maps, that sort of thing? Or are we just kind of hanging out here? I don't I don't really know. Take some pre-war money. Why not? A bunch of cloth I can use later on down the road. Huh? Well, let me just check what's over here first, dog. Nope. Uh, yeah, you have a couple of mods on you. That might be worthwhile. Um, I guess I just stepped on a mine and didn't realize it. Something did, anyway. I didn't see a mine. Doesn't mean there wasn't one around, but I just didn't see it. Smash! Guess if I stepped on a mine, or someone stepped on a mine, then I should probably be thinking about looking a little more on the ground. So forgive me if I'm looking on the ground a lot. I, I'd rather not step on a mine if it can be avoided. Take some shotgun shells, why not? Not too interested in taking the actual shotgun, though. Guess I'll take the coffee pot. What do you have going on? Leather... I can take that leather stuff. That'd be good. Oh, we got someone else over here. Nope. You don't want to... You don't want to come play? Oh. Oh. I didn't mean to fall in. Maybe that was a good thing, though. I don't know. Empty blood pack. Sure, we can take that. Did get me on the other side of a, a wall, I believe. 10 millimeter auto pistol. I'll go ahead and take that just for kicks. That is an upgraded weapon, after all. There's the creepy monkey that... Hmm, I'm not a big fan of the creepy monkey. Just go ahead and say that. Anything interesting going on with these x-rays? Nothing that I'm noticing. It's interesting that it's still raining and I'm standing under a roof, but don't question these sorts of things. Just go with it. I cannot no unlock that I door. If only I had a key that would unlock that door. And that just gets me outside where there's a light. Good. And a dead scavenger. I'm going to take that explorer outfit just because. One of the things that's kind of interesting about the game. You have different kinds of armor. Your regular straight up armor sets. And by that I mean something like the explorer armor, the spike armor I'm wearing... Uh, the various raider leather, some of that stuff. 
You can upgrade it later in the game. Most of it, at least. Can't do much with it early on. In fact, it's probably in your best interest to wear the vault suit first off, and then wear some leather armor or raider armor or metal armor or some sort of other additional armor with it. But then eventually you'll be able to, via a quest line... Oh, you are infected. You are... dangerous. Let's go ahead and back up a little bit, because I'm getting hurt by this guy. And I have a feeling I'm going to need to eat some food. So we're going to have some grilled rad roach, and then I'm going to just back up for a moment, let that take effect. I might need some iguana on a stick as well. I'm also allowing myself a moment to regain some AP. I suppose I could do this. Where's a nuka? Hmm, I only have a nuka cherry, huh? I don't really want to use a nuka cherry on, on this guy. Yeah, I'm so picky. We'll do some insta mash. Here we go. All right, let's try this again. I have zero chance to hit, huh? Why? I'm hitting it just fine like this. Why is it a 0% chance to hit? That's kind of a shame. Oh, come on, you. Stop flying around. Stop being a jerk. You're fine, dog. It's just a little radiation poisoning. You'll get over it. I promise. I wouldn't lie to you. Take all this junk. Sure, some mana freeze a Praxo. And another, yeah, empty paint can, empty enamel can, gas canister, plunger. Sure, there's no real rhyme or reason to why I'm taking this stuff and leaving others of the exact same kind behind. Other than, I guess, if I'm going to get a bunch of radiation poisoning, I might as well get something for my time, right? That's what I'm saying. Where are my rads at these days? Hmm. I can't easily tell on this. Guess 150. Uh, oh, I didn't know I had that still going on. Good. Go me. Well, I think we can go ahead and say that uh, Fort Hagen, at least for this stuff, is uh, pretty well done. And through Fort Hagen proper, like I said, I'm pretty sure I missed something in there, but it's okay. I'll end up going back in there as part of the main quest, I believe. Or someone's quest, I, I think. And anyway, here's the Massachusetts Blood Clinic where the blood, bu blood bugs, easy for me to say, are hanging out. So, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a thumbs up. If you did, leave a thumbs down. If you'd like to see new episodes as soon as they're posted, do subscribe. And above all else, leave a comment. I like to hear what you think. I try to take the time to respond because you take the time to respond. So we'll catch you on another one. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm going to head this way. See you later.